what's going on everybody we're out here again about to go back and sit back in the stand and kill my doe another day and uh try to get us another doe on the ground it is like 4 15 right now it's like 28 degrees outside it's a real as you can see it's just a really like dreary day just really foggy mist and rain or whatever most people are sitting at home right now drinking a cup of uh coffee or hot chocolate watching netflix whatever but not me i'm out here in the woods enjoying these last few days of deer season so uh i'm gonna hush up hurry up and get in the deer stand like i said it's like 4 15 running a little behind had to wait for the rain to go through but uh we're gonna get off here and i'll catch y'all in the tree all right guys so we're back with the stand again the same stand as last night and fingers crossed it happens just the way it did the other night minus the button head or spike whatever you want to call it uh bumping the toes off the corner Ozonics rolling in stakes like this after a fresh rain. That Ozonics, man, I tell you what, it is a game changer. If y'all don't have one, y'all hunt with one. I know it's expensive, trust me. I know it's expensive. Just take it, bite the bullet, pay for it, and you'll never regret it. Uh, got the Matthews locked and loaded over here. So uh, we're going to get quiet. And hopefully, it don't start raining, raining. Right now, it's just missing. It's kind of raining a little bit, not much. So I got curious and I pulled the radar, radar back up again for like the 12th time today. And it's kind of saying at 5 o'clock it may downpour. <laughs> so, 30 degrees outside. I'm finally in this deer stand. And it might start pouring down rain in 30 minutes. Y'all stay tuned and find out. I may get drenched. I don't know. I really don't want to walk back to the ranger. Pouring down rain and have to get all this camera gear and crap it down. Golly, Lord, please don't let it rain. <laughs> oh, man. All right, not enough talking. Not what I wanted to hear. This sucks. Well, y'all, I gave it a very hard try this evening. I ran out, once I ran out of camera light, I just got down. Uh, I hadn't seen anything all day. I didn't got it wasn't raining bad it kind of drizzled a little bit for, for a second but the little bit of mist that accumulated over the time of me sitting there got my clothes damp and i am freezing right now so anyway we're going to get this stuff loaded back on the ranger here and i'm going home and i'm gonna get something hot to eat uh i know we were unsuccessful this evening but oh well you can't kill them at the house what's going on y'all it is december 31st it is 4.15 and uh, finished up with work a little bit early. So I threw my bibs on, jacket, grabbed a rifle and we're headed out to the woods to go try to shoot us another deer. So uh, my dad's already in the stand. And uh, so now we're, anyway, walking down to the tree, stand, box stand, whatever. So uh, we'll catch you here in a minute. I got a pretty dang good walk in front of me, so. We'll catch you in the stand here in just a second.
Well, that was fun. Uh, I usually don't hunt with a rifle, hardly ever, but running late, and it's the next to last day of the season, I figure, what the heck, why not? You know, I like, I like bow hunting a lot more, but with the circumstances, we just rocked the rifle. And we, uh, one thing y'all missed, <laughs> I shot one. Well, there's another one with it. I think y'all. I think it walked in the frame a minute ago, or a minute before I shot. And uh, well, I shot that one, and it ran off into the woods. Well, I don't know. After I done turned the record button off, the way the camera set up, I couldn't really pan to do anything. Um, plus, it's really dark. But um, once the one of them ran off into the woods and crashed, the other one come running out 50 yards away, and we got two. <laughs> so that makes it a lot more fun. We got two deer clean out. Uh, got my dad a new meat grinder, so um, we've really been wearing that song gun out, and we got a lot more meat to grind. So let me get out the tree stand real quick. Let's get tracking. Well, it's one track job. Ain't gonna be too hard. <laughs> Cause uh, it died right here next to me. Son of a gun. It's a dang button head. Frick. Gosh, I hate shooting the button here. Dang it. Oh well, it'll eat just the same. Oh, dang, I hate that was a button head I shot. That sucks. I thought it was a doe. To be honest with you, I really didn't look at it when I was in the field because I was just worried about shooting that big, the big doe. But when it walked back, ran back out in front of me, I just. It, whatever it's meat in the freezer i'm just not i'm not gonna try try not to beat myself up too much about it Let's see if we can find this other deer well found her good god what a big old doe mm, that's a big girl right there i don't know if y'all can i don't know if it really shows great perspective with nothing on it but she wouldn't well, you can't really see because of the light but she didn't go too far she may have went 50 yards. Well, let's get her drug up over here with the other one. Well, here they are. That's a big old doe. I mean, she is gigantor compared to the little guy here, but obviously. Anywho, I don't know how much she weighs, but I'd say every bit of 150. Every bit of it. She's huge. Anywho, we're going to get this sucker skinned out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Maybe the next video will be trapping coyotes. Uh, we got one more day of deer season, but I might just end it on a good note. So, y'all take it easy, and we'll see you later.